George M. Cohen is known as an entertainer, playwright, composer, lyricist, actor, singer, dancer, producer, and violin player. Or you could just call him the man who owned Broadway. Now, he was born in Providence, Rhode Island, and his baptismal certificate said he was born on July 3rd, but the family, of course, claims he was born on the 4th of July. He performed on vaudeville with his sister, mother, and father in the act, The Four Coens. He and his sister made their Broadway debut in the 1893 sketch, The Lively Boot Black. Personally, my favorite sketch of 1893, second only to SNL's sketch, Needs More Cowbell. He also sold his first song ever in the year 1893. Now, he wrote, produced, and starred in over a dozen musicals on Broadway. His first was in the year 1901, but he really hit it big in 1904's Little Johnny Jones. That included the hit song, Give my regards to Broadway. He also wrote the most popular tune of the Great War, World War I's classic anthem, Over There, Over There. Send the word, send the word, Over There. Don't forget the patriotic hit. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag. Now, Mr. Cohen did a couple silent pictures, but in 1932, he starred in Paramount's Rogers and Hart musical, The Phantom President. This also starred Claudette Colbert and Jimmy Durante. This was a huge hit, but Mr. Cohen absolutely detested Hollywood methods. So he only made one more picture and he refused to make that in Hollywood. He did gambling. This was based on a play of his and he shot that in New York City and it was a critical failure. In fact, it is now a lost film. So the man who owned Broadway returned to the stage and he was a huge success in Eugene O'Neill's only comedy, Ah, Wilderness. His last play on Broadway would be 1940's Return of the Vagabond. That starred a young Celeste Holmes. Now, even though Mr. Cohen didn't make any more pictures, a bunch of his properties were made into movies. And some of the luminaries that starred in them were Judy Garland, Vincent Price, and Jack Benny. In 1942, the biopic Yankee Doodle Dandy came out. This starred James Cagney, and this picture earned him a Best Actor Oscar. Now, Mr. Cohen was dying of cancer, so they did a private screening of this film, and he said about Mr. Cagney's performance, my God, that's a tough act to follow. You too, Mr. Cohen, are a tough act to follow. Happy birthday, America. Happy 4th of July. I will see you next week in Hollywood. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. A real live nephew of my Uncle Sam. I was born on the 4th of July. Over there, over there. Oh my God, I forgot to send the sending. Yeah, <laughs> shit. That'll it was popular. One.